Would you know if your next door neighbor had a pet tiger? Ohio's new law bans the sale, ownership, and breeding of exotic animals. But tonight, Amber Watson examines whether that law has enough teeth to pre prevent another Zanesville private zoo on the loose. How would you feel living next door to a lion or a cougar? It would make me real nervous. You know, as a parent, you know, you never know when something will escape. Before the exotic animal law passed, there were possibly thousands of wild exotic animals across the state of Ohio. Right now, there are 201 wild exotic animals on record, including this black bear, Betty. No cookie? How's that? Betty has been living at Troy Fishing Game more than 30 years. After the exotic animal law passed in 2012, the club considered letting her go because of the costly changes they would have to make. We had to reinforce the cage and we also had to uh, get the vet out here and uh, dart the bear and tag it. So if it ever got out, they'd know where it was that where it's from. The club decided the $1,500 price tag was worth it, but that wasn't the case for many in Ohio. After the law passed, 150 owners registered 888 animals. However, when it came to getting the actual permit, that number dropped to just 54 owners claiming their exotic animals. I went to the Department of Agriculture to get answers as to where those animals are now. The permitting process is not easy um, and it's not meant to be. As the, the care and caging standards were developed and passed, started looking at them and saying, you know, maybe this isn't for me, maybe what's best for my animal is that, you know, we move it somewhere else. Soon we may see even less exotic animals in Ohio. Right now, Imagination Acres has a permit for a spider monkey similar to this one. I spoke to the owner off camera and she says because of the law, she's now in the process of getting rid of it, but hasn't decided where it will go. Some may not understand the attraction to these type of animals, but the caretakers of Betty have this to say. A lot of people have had them for a lot of years and, you know, they're about like a pet, like a cat or a dog. Once you get used to them, you, you love to have them around. And if she got out, I don't think she'd go very far anyway until she's spoiled. She's too well fed. The Department of Agriculture says they continue to get calls about animals in the state that are not permitted. They expect to get more calls through the year, but Hawkins says one thing is certain. If you call up and say, my neighbor has a bear and they do have a permit, then you at least can know that the department has been out there and inspected their facility. There. Betty is reaching the end of her life expectancy. The Troy Fishing Game says they will keep their deer, but because of the law, they will not get any more dangerous wild animals. People in the community say they will be sad to see the day Betty is gone. It's very rare to have something like that around here. It's kind of neat. The bear has been over there. It's kind of like a human being, you know, it's uh, just like another friend of the whole community. <laughs> Amber Watson, Fox 45 News. All right, here's where things stand now. In the past two years, the state has cared for 73 wild animals that were voluntarily surrendered by its owners to avoid charges. But others who violate the Dangerous Wild Animal Act will be charged with a first-degree misdemeanor, and repeat offenders face a fifth-degree felony.